Partnerships are central to everything we're going to be doing as engineering and manufacturing becomes more digital. And that's not just partnerships in how we develop and deliver things, working with IT companies and engineers on the ground. It's also about partnerships around ideas and skills. And our customers need that. They need the people with the right skills to work on the new equipment, to develop the ideas. And we need those people to help be able to deliver it in partnership with them. So all in all, who we work with and how we work with them is going to be central to how we as Siemens succeed in the future. There's a risk with the universities that they focus on what they're interested in and not what it is that the industrial partner needs. You hear a lot about, this is what we can do, we are great. One of the things I really like about Sheffield is the way that Sheffield's taken the time to understand our business, our strategy and our needs, and has then related their own capabilities to that. And that's both around the research, the students, and the way in which we want to work with our customers and partners in the area. One of the things we've learned in business is that whenever there's two big complex relationships, it really makes a difference when there's someone in the middle to make sure that that relationship works well. The university is complex and so is Siemens. So for us to be able to have someone in the middle that can make the relationships work as well as make the joint strategy and plan work has been really important to making sure we get pace and focus on the things that really make a difference. Partnerships are going to be central to the way in which Siemens and all of industry works together in the future. And to my mind, there's about three different ways of doing that. There's something about how we develop and deliver our projects. How do we work with IT companies? How do we work with people on the ground who are actually installing and physically making these systems happen? As a technology supplier, we have to build those partnerships. We need partnerships that give us new ideas. People at the university, in startups, and other partners that can come together with us and say, these are the types of innovations we need to push the boundaries where we as Siemens work. And finally, there's really important partnerships around skills and talent to make sure that we have the right people, our customers and our suppliers all have the right people too. So all in all, partnerships and ecosystems are going to be at the heart of everything that we do to succeed as Siemens in the future. I've been involved with the Siemens University of Sheffield relationship for over eight years, and in that time I've really seen it grow and broaden. At first we had a really strong and focused relationship focused on wind power. From that time, I've seen us link into other parts of Siemens business, be that around rail, around energy, around manufacturing. But as well as going broader, it's also gone a lot deeper. Having a joint plan that allows us to focus on things of strategic importance to Siemens means that actually over these years, we've been able to align our interest along specific areas of influence in the city region, around national policy and some specific programs. Personally, one of the things that I really care about is about skills and about trying to help students get exposure to industrial tools, equipment and experience. And for me, this has been a great way that Sheffield over many years has built together a series of programmes with us to have an impact in that area. So from small beginnings, we've actually seen something grow into a series of advanced, complicated, interrelated programmes. And that's because we've both committed to the relationship to make it work.